guys, welcome to part two of the MAC pigment video series. In part one, I talked about using MAC pigments as eye color. In this video, part two, I'm going to be talking about using pigments as lip color, mixing your own custom lipsticks, altering lipsticks, and glosses, or making your own glosses, and applying pigments dry to lip looks that you're doing to add a special effect kind of quality to them. Now, there are two methods that I use when I'm making a pigment into a creamy lipstick-like product. First is mixing the pigment with something clear. Second is mixing the pigment with something that already has color in it. For the purposes of this video, I'm going to be calling option one pure pigment lip color, since when you mix a pigment like this, which is bright fuchsia by the way, when you mix this with something clear, you're only going to see the pigment. Now, when you're looking for a clear base to mix pigment with, you can use any kind of lip safe, emollient, clear product that you can mix a pigment with and put it on your lips. The only thing to keep in mind is that when you are adding a powdered dry product like a pigment to your lip base, whether it's cocoa butter or your favorite lip balm, the more pigment you add, the drier and more crumbly your end result could possibly be. Since it's a dry powdered product, it will alter the texture of whatever it is that you are mixing it with. Now, my personal favorite product to use when I'm looking for a clear base is Max Clear Gloss Texture. This is kind of like the counterpart to their matte texture, which is available everywhere. Clear Gloss is only available at pro stores, but you can order from pro. Anyone can order from pro. Go to Mac Pro, look at the 800 number, and call it and say, I want to order Clear Gloss Texture. This stuff is really, really cool. It's not the same as Clear Lip Glass. This is a very non-sticky, glossy, clear cream. I'm actually wearing it as a highlight on my cheeks right now, and it's not sticky at all. All you do to mix your custom lip color with your clear base is take a little pigment, take a little of your clear base, and mix them together. You can use more of this and less of this for something that's not as intense. You can use more of this and less of this for something that's more intense and opaque. It's completely up to you. Just keep in mind the whole texture ratio rule that I was telling you about. And if it starts to get too crumbly, add more of this and you'll be fine. You can use any kind of pigment that you want. You can use dark pigments and light pigments and pigments with not much color and pigments with a lot of color. You can use pigments that are just a duochrome frosty thing and pigments that are matte. Personally, I really like the way that rose pigment looks mixed with clear gloss. It's very, very understated. It's barely there. It doesn't look like much of anything, but it's really, really, really pretty. You can also mix fuchsia with clear gloss, which is the other swatch that you see on your screen if you want something that's more bold. That's a really fun one to do as well. The other way to create a custom lip color is to add pigment to something that already has color in it, like a lipstick. Just keep in mind, again, what I was talking about, the ratio of your product to your thing, so it can get a little bit tricky if you've got a lipstick that's particularly dry. The best finishes to mix with pigments tend to be glazes and lusters, just because they're very light, they're very creamy, they're very emollient, and they're really easy to work with. It doesn't mean that you can't use a matte lipstick with a pigment, it just means that you need to introduce a third ingredient to your mixture in order to make it a little bit more workable. I took a photo, which you'll see on your screen now. And the photo that you see is Ruby Woo mixed with white gold, which you can't really tell, but it basically makes Ruby Woo into a bright frosty red. To the left you see the pigment mixed with the lipstick, and that's it. You can see how it's kind of crumbly and very dry. But then just by mixing a little bit, like the smallest amount of clear gloss texture, to that you get something like you see on the right, which is much more creamy and way easier to work with. Now, if you're a fan of matte lipsticks, everything that we've talked about so far may not work for you because all of the techniques that I've talked about so far will give you a satin finish at best, but most of them are gonna be very moist and, and kind of glossy looking. One alternative that will give you a very truly matte lip is to mix your pigment with a liquid foundation or liquid concealer. Now, mixing pigments with foundation can actually be a lot of fun because though the outcome won't be as vibrant as the pigment because the foundation or the concealer does have a lot of color to it 
in the first place, the end result is usually very, very wearable because you're mixing your pigment with something that is flesh toned. And more so if you're using your own foundation or concealer that's matched to your skin tone, the end result is basically half your skin tone. So what you end up with, even if you're using something like Bright Fuchsia, which is really, really vibrant, is a very wearable hot pink. Um, because half of the color is you. Now personally, my favorite product, foundation or concealer or otherwise to use when mixing with pigments is MAC Studio Sculpt. I like this because it's a, like a gel based, so it's very creamy, but it's not liquidy, so it's not going to run. It makes it really easy to apply. It's also water resistant and it's not overly drying, so you'll still get a very matte lip with this, but it's not going to crack and peel and flake or feel horribly uncomfortable. Since you are mixing a lip color, feel free to try other foundation shades. Mixing Studio Sculpt foundation with Bright Fuchsia in NW15 will give you a very different look than mixing it with NW50. Now, for lip glosses, MAC also makes a clear lip glass. Um, this is available pretty much everywhere, and it is just a clear lip glass. It's the clear version of their it's the clear version of their lip glass that they sell. Um, it's very, very sticky. It's very high shine. It makes a great base for lip glosses, but you don't have to use it. You can use anything, any clear lip gloss that you want, you can mix a pigment with and make your own custom lip gloss. And just like with lip colors, you can also alter the color of an existing lip gloss or lip glass and come up with all kinds of fun other different lip combos. Okay, now the last thing that I'm going to talk about in the pigments as lip things video is applying them dry because you don't have to mix your pigments with colors in a spatula and get a mortar and pestle going and have some sort of brew thing. You can just use a brush, some sort of fluffy brush like the MAC 224 and dust it over your lips for some really, really cool effects. Pick anything that's duochrome, like pink opal or even white gold, and just take a small amount on your brush and kind of dust it on your lips. You've seen me do this before in other Kick-Ass Lips videos, but it does add a really cool sort of three-dimensional quality to your lipstick. If you want to go for something that's a little more understated, if putting pink opal on top of Velvetella is like too out there for you, then take a pigment that's very neutral but pale like Vanilla or Naked and just brush it right here in the center part of your bottom lip and it will act as a highlight and sort of push your lip out adding a pouty look to it. You can also take a pigment like Vanilla or Naked or whatever it is that you would use as a highlighter on your skin and use it to highlight the cupid's bow and again it will kind of push your lips forward so that they look like they're fuller than they are. I would show you photos of that but um, my cupid's bow is covered with a beard so it won't work. So that's it. That's pigments as lip color. That's mixing them with a clear base so that you just have the pigment color. Mixing them with a lipstick that you have. Mixing them with a clear lip gloss or a colored lip gloss or using them to add either a three-dimensional duochrome highlight or a very natural highlight to your lips or on the cupid's bow. They're a lot of fun. You can do a lot with them. Try some stuff out. Tell me what you think. Share your ideas in the comment section because I always think that that's really cool. And of course, stay tuned for part... Per fart. And of course, stay tuned for part three in which I will be talking about using pigments on your body as other things, as highlight and contour and blush and anything else I can think of. And body lotion. That's a good one. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope that this was educational, informative, entertaining, laughable perhaps. Um, stick around. I will see you soon. Take care. Drive safe.